So we're here with Christine from GoTo Finance Brokers. Mm -hmm. And today we're talking about what you should be doing before you refinance. Now typically what we find is that clever home buyers and astute investors are always looking to refinance. Mm -hmm. They're looking to get the best rate in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. What are the top three things that you recommend that someone should do before refinancing? I would start off with having your property valued. Um, if you have the property valued and you know what numbers you're working with, I've seen applications get put through and come in 50 or 100,000 less, and it's make or break to your application. So you'd rather avoid that by getting it valued very early on um, and avoid the heartache down the track. Okay, so with the valuation, mm -hmm. that's a, a valuation done by a registered valuer mm -hmm. by the bank's panel? By the bank's panel. Not they an all... agent's market appraisal? Definitely not. That's okay. good to get a ballpark figure, yep. but the bank won't use that ballpark figure. They'll okay. send out their own valuers, inspect the property, and only use that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. What's the second thing you'd recommend that buyers do? Second thing I would say, ensure your account conduct is all clear. Okay. Um, you're providing the bank with six months worth of transactions on the mortgage. They can also go back and look at your credit history and your credit record. So you want that to be clear. You want repayments to be made, up to date, no defaults, no arrears on the account, um, because this is make or break for some lenders. Okay. So what's the difference between like a default payment, like a, a missed payment or a non-payment? Mm -hmm. Well, a missed payment is simply I was on holidays and my transfer didn't go through or my pay didn't go through on time and the, the account, the repayment was missed on the account um, and I made it up very quickly. I made it up the day after or two days after, which generally with the banks is okay and acceptable. Yeah. Um, a default, however, is when you've missed the payment and they've chased you up constantly and you just haven't picked up the phone. You haven't made the repayment for whatever reason. Okay. You And that generally is bad conduct to the bank and they don't want to, to lend money to that kind of conduct. Okay, and it's six months worth of... Six months. Okay. Six months that you're providing the bank. Okay. And what would be the third thing that you'd recommend? Third thing I work, would recommend is seeing us at GoTo Finance Broking. We can complete your servicing and let you know how much you can afford. We can order that valuation for you. Um, should there be little quirks with the deal that you know a standard bank not, might not want to look at, we have a panel of 30 odd lenders um, and we can get you the best product and rate that we can find. So the biggest advantage of speaking with a broker mm -hmm. is that you're able to speak to different lenders mm -hmm. and get different rates Definitely. Um, versus going to sort of one financial institution. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So they're the top three things that you should be doing before you refinance. So if you're looking to refinance, speak with Christine and the team at GoTo Finance Brokers. They're only too happy to help.